Hi there, okay, so we're gonna have a look at how we import a transparent animated GIF into Final Cut Pro. Okay, there's a few steps to this. We're gonna to have to use a third party website um, to actually extract the frames from the animated GIF, but then we'll be able to import those frames and set the time up for them and then loop them at a speed that, that we're happy with. So let's go ahead and find our animated GIF. So we've come onto Google, um, search for our Nyan Cat transparent animated GIF, and we're gonna pick this one, which is this small Nyan Cat animated looping GIF, okay? So it's gonna work perfectly when we import this into Final Cut Pro, okay? So we'll go ahead and save this on the desktop. And then once we've done that, we're gonna upload it to a, another website called gifmaker.me, okay? And basically this exploder that they have extracts out the individual frames of the animated GIF and it keeps the transparency as well. So we'll upload our image, wait for it to process, and then we can download this file and we wanna download the zip file they give you and then unzip it. So we'll click on download there. It's gonna drop onto our downloads folder. So we'll move that to the desktop here. And then once we've got that here, we'll just double click to extract that, okay? So once we have these frames, so you can see here, we've got the individual frames of our animated GIF and we can see actually here that we have the transparency from those individual frames. Okay, so once we've extracted those, we'll go back now into Final Cut Pro, and we'll go to File, Import, and Media, and we're looking for those frames on our desktop. Okay, so we'll click Shift, and then click on the last one, so we've got 11 individual frames there. We'll import all of these. Okay, so once those are imported, we'll be able to see each of the individual frames um, in Final Cut Pro here. So we're gonna go ahead and we've got a timeline um, set up here. If you don't have a timeline set up, go to File, New, and Project, make a new project timeline. Um, and we're gonna hold down Shift and select all of those images. Okay, so once we've got those imported, we can now drag those down to our timeline here that we've got set up, okay? And then we're gonna work on the duration of these so they run a bit more quickly, okay? Now, when we, now once these are dragged down to the timeline, they'll have, auto size um, set up on them by default. So as long as we have all these uh, clips selected and we can just zoom out of our timeline here, we can take off the spatial conform option, which is uh, fit. So we can change that to none. So it'll be the default, uh, an original image size of that animated GIF, okay? If you want it to fit, set the spatial conform to fit. The next thing we wanna do is go to modify and change duration. Control D is the shortcut for this. And once we click that, with all our clips selected, we can change the duration of all of those clips in one go. So if we just type in one, that means that each each of these clips is gonna one, run for one frame. So that will speed up uh, the animation. So so originally the images would have been 10 seconds long each, but now we've dropped them down to, to one frame. Okay, so depending on your frame rate, they should run at um, 1 25th or 1 30th of a frame. So I'm just gonna zoom, I'm just gonna zoom in here um, right down to the individual frames by hitting shift and z to fit the timeline and now if i press play you can see i've got my animate gif here okay so what we're doing now really is we're just wrapping this up into one clip okay so before we do that we're actually going to copy and paste this a few times so now if you do command c come to the end of your timeline here command v we can just keep pasting that and that just means you've got a bit of video you can loop and then once you've Got this paste a few times, select all again by doing Command A, and then copy and then paste again, and then you'll quickly end up with a nice duration. So here we've got nine seconds of Nyan Cat. So if you want to make an infinite Nyan Cat, away you go. Um, I've seen some of the 10 hour ones out there, and uh, now you can do that too. So if we just paste a couple more times, okay, then we've got 13 seconds of animated GIF, and we'll have a look at the transparency in a second. Okay, so you can see this is running nicely. Now the nice thing about the Control D for change the duration is that if we think that's running too quickly, we can select all these clips, either by doing Command A or by just dragging across them all, and then do Control D again, and we can halve the speed by making each frame last for two, each image last for two frames. Okay, so let's just play that back. Okay, so that looks about right. So we've got our Nyan Cat there, now let's uh, com set this up as a compound clip so that we can work with it a bit more smoothly in our edit and final cut. So, so if we go to File, New, and then Compound Clip, okay, 
we'll call this Nyan cat loop. Okay, and now basically all those individual frames that we pulled into Final Cut will be wrapped into one compound clip. And now let's just grab a, a background here that we can um, play this over just to show the transparency. Okay, so we'll choose a generator. Okay, and we'll pick some clouds. Just drop this at the beginning of the timeline, and then we'll just do Shift and Z so that we can quickly drop our Nyanka above our cloud. So you can see here we have the generator for clouds playing, and then the Nyanka playing above that. Okay, so now we can play back a little bit of this, and you can see we have our Nyanka playing over our clouds generator. Okay, so if you have any questions about Final Cut Pro or about how to import content into Final Cut Pro as you're working on your edits, then please don't hesitate to send me a tweet at Ben Housel or drop a comment in here underneath the video. And um, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.